Boys and girls, now let's look to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, we do want to thank you and praise you for who you are. We want to thank you for our beautiful boys and girls who are actually viewing our program at this time. We thank you, God, for their strength. We thank you for their understanding. We thank you, God, that you will continue blessing them as they continue to serve you. Father, we give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory because you deserve it, oh God. Father, we honor your name today and we thank you for your goodness. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, now it's time for worship. So let's listen to our worship song with our worship team.
Harvest Kids and you two parents, get up, stand up, let's worship our God. Come on, clap your hands. The greatest day in history, death is beaten, you have rescued me. Sing it out, Jesus is alive. The empty cross, the empty grave, life eternal, you have a wonder day. Shout it out, Jesus is alive. Come on. He's alive. Oh, happy day, happy day. You wash my sin away. Oh, happy day, happy day. stand in that place free at last meeting face to face I am yours Jesus you are mine and this joy and perfect peace earthly pain finally will she celebrate Jesus is alive sing it out he's alive Thank you, Harvest Kids. Enjoy the rest of this service. Oh, wow. Boys and girls, wasn't worship superb? I did enjoy this. I know that you know how well it is to praise the Lord, and I am so happy that you did. So right now, we're going to listen to our Bible story, and I hope you pay very close attention to everything that's being said. Hi, guys. I'm so excited about our Bible story for today. Today, we have a word that reappears, and the word is resist. Does anybody know what that word means? Yeah, those are some good answers. To resist means to repel or fight against. And today's Bible story is about Jesus resisting temptation. What do you think that means? Good thinking. Jesus did not give in to temptation to sin. He resisted. Jesus also gave us a great example of how we can do the same. Let's hear what Jesus did. Our story comes from Matthew chapter 4 today. After Jesus was baptized, he was led by God's spirit to go into the wilderness. Jesus did not eat for 40 days and 40 nights. Wow. You can imagine not eating for 40 days and 40 nights, how hungry you would be. Well, Jesus was very hungry. Satan came to Jesus, and he knew he was hungry. Satan told Jesus to turn some stones into bread. Jesus could have done it, but he resisted the temptation. Our verse tells us in Matthew 4, verse 4, that Jesus answered, It is written, man must not live on bread alone, but on every wood that comes from the mouth of God. 
Then, you know what Satan did? Satan took Jesus to the top of the temple in Jerusalem, and he tempted Jesus again. Oh, no. This time, he said, if you are the son of God, jump off the temple and trust God to protect you. The scriptures say that God will send angels to protect you. Jesus resisted Satan's temptations again. In Matthew 4, 7, it says, Jesus told him, it is also written, do not test the Lord your God. But you know what? Satan would not give up. And he tempted Jesus again. What? Can you imagine? Three times. Satan took Jesus to a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. Satan said that he would give him all the riches and power of these kingdoms to Jesus if he would bow down and worship him. What do you think Jesus did? Well, Matthew 4.10 tells us, Then Jesus told him, Go away, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then, you know what? Satan left. Yeah. Then the angels came to Jesus and cared for him. You know, Satan tempted Jesus three times. How did Jesus resist Satan's temptations? That's some good answers. Jesus used scriptures to resist the temptations that Satan brought. Jesus resisted temptation, and God can help you and me resist temptation as well through prayer and through the scriptures. No one is perfect like Jesus, but we can do our best to resist sin. What kind of temptations do you face? Are you tempted to use unkind words or be disrespectful? Maybe you are tempted to take things that don't belong to you. We can always pray and ask God to help us make the right choices. We can learn a Bible verse that will encourage us and follow Jesus' example and resist temptation. Hi, boys and girls. I hope you had a lot of fun today. So today's activity is we're going to talk about temptation. But today, our activity is a little bit different. I want you guys to actually think of some characters in the Bible who actually got tempted. And I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about them. Your mom and dad can also help. And I trust that they'll probably find the same answers that I came up with. So here we go. I'm giving you a few seconds. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Good boys and girls. I hope you're going to find the same answers that I did. And back in the days of the olden days, when we talk about temptation, you know, the devil always do things to make people think that he knows what is best for us. But he doesn't. So, actually, our first character that I could think of was Job. And Job was tested by the devil. And he, Satan actually used Job's wife to tempt him in actually distrusting God. But yet still, Job could see through her and said to her, you speak like a foolish woman. And boys and girls, he was right. She did speak like a foolish woman because you couldn't actually detest God. Even if you go through different situations in life, you will know that the devil always find ways to bring out the worst in you. But you have to be very, very good in resisting. Our second character is Daniel. You remember when the king said to Daniel that he has to pray to him? Praying to a king is not God. So he decided that he would throw Daniel into the lion's den. But Daniel still had faith that God will take him out from his predicament. Our next character was mm, Joseph. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Could you believe that King Pharaoh's wife, Potiphar, wanted Joseph to actually lie in bed with her? Oh, my God. That was an awful way to tempt a man of God. And Joseph resisted. And believe you me, boys and girls, those are what happens to us as believers when we 
trust God, and the devil finds all sorts of ways to tempt us. So boys and girls, today's activity is actually talking about temptation. And these are the three characters that I know that you can research through your Bibles and find the stories that go along with it, and you can also read it. And mom and dad, you can also help them too. guys that was a fun activity with miss rosita wasn't it so it's time for a bible verse so go get your bible so our bible verse for today is taken from matthew chapter 4 and verse 10 and the esv version says then jesus said to him be gone satan for it is written you shall worship the lord your god and him only shall you serve Everyone is tempted to make wrong choices, but God will help you resist temptation. He wants you to choose to honor him by doing what is right and rejecting what is wrong. So as you go throughout this week, remember our Bible verse for this week. Boys and girls, I am so happy that you guys have visited us with us today. And I trust that you have a beautiful, beautiful week. God loves you and I do too. Bye. Hey.